call Mr. Mike to come here. He is high field manager and he got 10 years experience in the field and I would yeah. like to you to introduce yourself. Yeah, I shall. Yeah. Hi guys, hope you're still awake. I won't take too long because it's not half as interesting as what we've just heard. Um, but it's, it's really important because I know most of you are HSE guys and some of you are food handlers, but if you really kind of think about it on a higher level, the same, you know, why would you consider food safety of importance? Because, it, it, you know, the same reason you consider health and safety of importance, you know, protect your brand, you're going to avoid risk, uh, reputational, you know, value, all these things. So it's just as important. It's, it's, the, it's pretty much the same thing. So if you kind of step away from the technical side between health and safety and food safety, if you're thinking about it on a higher level, technically, you know, it's, the, it's pretty much the same, the same concept. So what I wanted to do is just talk about what Highfield do. Maybe, maybe some of you know who we are, maybe some of you don't, but that's fine. And I'll just kind of uh, talk about what we do and how we partner up with our training centres to deliver courses in things like food safety, in things like health and safety as well. And we're here with Manaha, who is one of our very well esteemed centres here in Bahrain, who deliver a lot of our qualifications. So I just kind of want to walk you through exactly what we do, give you a bit of background, um, mm. and just kind of let you put a face to a name, or not, and just kind of give you an idea of what we actually do as an organisation. Um, and actually, as you were giving your presentation about allergens, it was really important. I don't know if any of you guys heard about the allergen situation in the UK recently, I think in the past couple of years, where there was no regulation uh, for a cafe to put the allergens on their kind of sandwiches. And one girl went into a cafe, got a sandwich and ate it, not knowing that there was sesame in it, had a cardiac arrest and died. Um, which was pretty epic, you know, pretty bad. Um, which then spurred on the conversation as to where's the regulation behind actually putting the information about allergens on, on sandwiches or on you know, consumer goods. But it shouldn't get to that point. You shouldn't have to wait for an incident to occur to make the changes. So this is what we're trying to pioneer. We are pioneers of safety, that's what we do. Uh, we work with governments in the UK, we have a UK, or I'll talk about what we do, how we're structured in a minute, but essentially I just want you to understand that we are massive pioneers of safety, this is what we're trying to do, we're trying to improve safety, not just in food, not just in health and safety, fire safety, first aid, all of this, and I'll talk about this in detail, but essentially the idea I want you to leave today with is that we care a lot about safety in, in, in generally and in the workplace. So, um, we have uh, five divisions as, as high field qualifications, products, uh, the international arm, we do a lot of e-learning as well, and assessment. Uh, don't worry too much about that, just more importantly, we are a UK company, our headquarters are in the UK, and that's where we do the majority of our business, but we started in the Middle East about 10 years ago, we've got an office in Dubai of about 30 people, so it is a, a fully fledged there. And just of late, we have a guy stationed in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia who runs our Southeast Asian market as well. Um, it's been, the international market for us has been fantastic and we feel we've made some really, really positive changes in um, pioneering and promoting safety. Uh, especially in the Middle East, and I'll talk about kind of some of the successes we've had in the region in a minute. So a little bit about us. So we actually started in 1982, so we've been running for a fair amount of time, not as an awarding body, but um, our chairman, Richard Sprenger, you might know his name, uh, started by writing a book about food safety, and this is what spurred the creation of the company. Uh, so we started in 1982 in the UK, um, and to date we've trained over 2 million learners, it's quite a lot. Uh, we have a range of 500 different products. Now I've actually brought a few products with me today, I'll talk about our products in a minute. We've got books in the back, so afterwards if you're interested in to have a look at some of our books, they're just on the shelf over there, so please feel free to have a look. Uh, we've delivered, we've created over 250 qualifications across health and safety, fire safety, food safety, risk assessment, first aid, customer service, I mean it goes on and on and on, but we have, yeah, we've done over 250 qualifications and over 20,000 training centres delivering our qualifications across 50 countries, so you know, it's, a global, it's a global affair. 
Um, in terms of the subjects that we deliver in, we are the UK's leading awarding organisation, qualifying over 500,000 learners per year. And we work with a range of governmental bodies as well. We're regulated in the UK by the qualifications provider. But not only that, we have partnerships with the governmental regulators in the UAE, in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Um, here in Bahrain, we work very closely with the BQA, the Bahraini Qualifications Authority, and Tamkeen. Um, and these are kind of uh, uh, relationships that we hope to pursue to make it easier for you guys to take our qualifications to benefit you as, as learners, as managers, to help you progress in your careers as well. So that's what we, this is where we push on. We really try to work closely with the regulatory bodies and feed in our expertise about safety and help define and shape regulation in, in these countries. Um, a very, someone's question? No. no, no, okay, cool. Um, very quick overview of our journey. So we started in 1982, the first book came out in 1984, and then we started getting into health and safety by 1995. Um, then what we decided to do is create some e-learning. So this is, you know, your go online and, and do your training online. Um, and then we, in 2000, we landed a, a very large contract with Marks and Spencers, which is now in Bahrain, I believe. It's a UK supermarket, which I think it operates here as well. They've got some others uh, dotted around the Middle East. Um, 2001, we translated our first uh, book into Arabic. Uh, so we had our first aid book in Arabic, and you can see we have a lot of different translations of our products over there. We've got a lot of Arabic material. Uh, fast forward, 2007, we won a contract with McDonald's in the UK. Um, and then in 2008, this is where we became an awarding body. Now, just to define, let you understand what an awarding body is, we are a creator of qualifications. Now, we don't deliver training. We are in the background, we create the standards for those qualifications, and we partner with lovely training centers like Nahel to deliver those qualifications on our behalf. So we don't have trainers, but we have <coughs> training centers to then deliver the content. It's a, it seems a bit convoluted, but this is this is how it goes. Um, and in 2009, we entered the security market as well. So we trained security guards, close protection, CCTV as well. Moving on, 2010, working with Buckingham Palace, you know, the royal residence yeah, yeah, yeah. in the UK. And then, in, <laughs> and then in 2010, this is when we opened our office in, in Dubai, uh, managed by our chairman. Um, in 2012, we became the largest provider of qualifications. Um, and then moving forward, these are quite UK specific, so I'll just move forward. Uh, 2016, we win, we win the Queen's Award for Enterprise for International Trade. Now, this is a kind of a royal esteemed award for enterprises that are kind of delivering internationally. So we got recognised by international delivery, which was, which was fabulous. And actually, very recently, we became the Federation of Awarding Bodies Awarding Body of the Year last year. So we won that award too. So we're fairly award-winning. I don't want to seem, you know, to blow my own horn, but you know, we, we've done pretty well, and uh, we've, we've been recognised for the achievements in that in that particular field. Internationally, these some of the people that we've worked with, you probably recognise a large number of those uh, uh, of those entities: the government of Dubai, Emirates Airlines, Jumeirah Group, the universities in, in the UAE, and hopefully expanding across the Middle East as well. Zayed University and Khalifa University are the two public universities in the UAE. National Qualifications Authority, Carrefour, Lulu. You know, we've done so much. We've been so busy. It's no, it's non-stop. Yeah, I'm Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so. Um, so, yeah, right, precisely. Oman, Air, BP, you know, it's been a, and this is just not just in, in, in the UAE, UAE, Bahrain, Saudi. What, I mean, Oman. which kind of business you are dealing with? Them? I mean, are they uh, offering the qualification? Or yeah, so the they, might, they might come to us and say, you know, we need, uh, we want our, let's say, a supermarket might need food, food safety for their food handlers in their factories, <coughs> health and safety for in the workplace. First aid, they need, might need people be first aid trained. So they might come to us and say, we need everything. We need everything. Yeah, so what we would do is then liaise with our training centers and put them in contact with that client, and then they'll, 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 the, the training centers will deliver the content to their learners. They'll get our qualification. We will provide the assessment and the certificate. So, you know, you could come like Emirates, for example, massive airline, so many functions. You have the, they have the catering side, you have the first aid side. It's just, it's enormous, you know, these clients have huge requirements and we have to 
find a solution for them. So I think this is the uh, this is the benefit of being able to offer so many qualifications in uh, particularly in safety because you know when you come to huge organisations they have they require things like hotels if you think about it, food, food, health and safety, you know, risk assessment, security, lifeguarding, all these kind of things. So yeah. But that just gives you an understanding about uh, about who we work with. We have a very close relationship with the government in Dubai and the ambulance service in Dubai providing first aid as well. <coughs> Moving on. So there you go. Qualifications, brief overview, customer service, fire safety, first aid, food safety and hazard, health and safety, infection control, Legionella, pool lifeguarding. We do beach lifeguarding as well. Uh, risk assessment, security, training, nutrition, and others, and many, many, many more. Here's an example of the certificates that our learners will get at the end of their studies. Oh, I, should, I could use the pointer, sorry. Um, yeah, I know, I didn't realize until I, yeah. Um, some organizations want courses that we don't actually do, but as a qualifications provider, we can accredit and endorse courses as well. So we've been approached by organizations to say, actually, we need a leadership program. Can you, can you kind of uh, endorse that program for us? That's something we can do as well. We have a qualifications team based in Dubai, so it's very easy for us to respond to those particular queries. But um, when we say it accurate, how long does it take to be the process of that? It depends on the length of the course. So the longer the course, it usually takes, you know, and you have to be by your organization, or you throw a, not an MBQ done by you? Yeah, all done by us, and we have a team in Dubai as well, so it's not a matter of submitting information to us and us shifting off to the UK, we have all the expertise we need in, in Dubai. Have you been audited by somebody else? No, no, no. no. So they, had, they are, they are uh, awarding body themselves, so they have authorized to... We, we authorize it, yeah. So essentially, <coughs> an organization, we've had an organization come and say, listen, we want to do a, a security qualification for our, our internal staff, we don't want your qualification, we want to do our own thing. But can you endorse it for us? Yeah, fine, okay, we'll have a look through. We'll look through the course, make sure it looks okay, the learning outcomes are clear, the quality is clear, what you're using to train your, your, your learners is clear, and we'll endorse it. But eventually, when, when the organization wanted to issue something as a certificate yep. and all, so they do it by their own? No, we, their would, we will have a co branded certificate <laughs> and send it off to their learners. Okay. Yeah. So it just gives their course an extra layer of quality assurance from an awarded body side and the learners will leave with a co-branded certificate as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, But that could be internally, that could be a trick, something a training centre when you put forward and maybe sell on in an area that we don't have a qualification in, it could be something particularly niche. So what I, I think what I'm trying to say here is very flexible, you know we have a whole range of qualifications but if we don't have something that you guys want, we can still do it. The best thing about it is, you know, when you when you're giving the people a UK certificate, they feel nice about it, and it also helps them in their career progression. Mm -hmm. Instead of giving a local Manahal training certificate, if I give a high field endorsed or accredited certificate, it's a UK certificate, yeah. and it's recognized much better globally. We have uh, a number of programs as well, which I will talk about. I will talk about now. I was going to talk about it in detail later, but actually, I think I'm going to just talk about it now. So we have the high food man manager in charge, which is a food safety based program, whereby we issue a certificate to learners who are, who are in the workplace, who are food handlers, who get a bundle of qualifications, and then which is across food safety, um, auditing and inspection, allergens and hazard. And once you've got all of those qualifications in a bundle, we issue you a manager in charge uh, certificate. We also work with universities and schools, even in schools, international schools, that want to start teaching students as young as, I don't know, 11 or 12 about the importance of food safety at home, like we were talking about. It's the responsibility of everybody, or first aid, or things like health and safety, you know, very, very entry level information, but it's still very pertinent information for, for students to know and can actually help them if they're looking to kind of move into that area in, as a future career. Uh, we do a, a certified manager program which is another food safety program as well. Uh, lifeguarding, we do a lot of lifeguarding, both pool and beach lifeguarding, obviously that's a, that's a big deal with a lot of hotels and the booming tourism industry in this particular region. 
And recently, we, are, we partnered up with Dubai Municipality to run the Health and Safety Officer Program for labor accommodation. So the labor camps in, in the UAE, uh, we, we manage all the, kind of, uh, the managers for the health and safety there as well. So lots of different bits and bobs going on. Like I said, I've got some of our products here. I've got the books mainly, but we do have CDs, card games, presentations, and books across the majority of our subject areas. There's a glimpse of the food safety products, and like I said, there are some books over there for you to have a look at. Some of our health and safety products, again, presentations, CDs, card games, DVDs, books. Fire safety, for example. Is it in different languages? Or? Well, I was just kind of, I was just coming on, coming on to that. You're one step ahead. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. I'll come on to that. First aid. You know, we do a lot of across first aid. It could be pediatric. It could be basic life support. Defibrillator. How to use defibrillator as well. Uh, first aid at work. So a whole different range of first aid depending on on you know the the area that you are you are training in. There you go. We do have a whole array of translations. Mainly at our lev uh, level one, we have a range of translations. As it gets up to level four, the publications become bigger and there's a little bit of less demand for, for translation. But level one, we've translated uh, particularly food safety. Food safety is in 10 different languages, um, particularly, um, and, and for this region as well, Arabic, Hindi, Urdu, you know, these, these languages are in high demand as well. And on top of that, uh, the examinations are available, the multiple choice examinations are also available in Arabic as well and some other languages too. So in cases where you know you want to take a food safety exam, level one or level, or level two, but you want to do it in Arabic, that's absolutely fine, we can accommodate that too. And that program also can be like uh, an e-learning within the company, like an online kind of thing. So e-learning, we only have an English at the moment. Um, but if, I mean, if, if an organization yeah. to have their online, uh, let's say training. You can yeah. approve that as well. I mean, if, if it's delivered online, the, 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 the course content is still the same. It's just the delivery is online. So that doesn't really have much of an impact. Let, let me tell you what we have been doing in Kuwait is we are in discussion with Kuwait Petroleum Corporation that they wanted to be learning. So at this time, uh, Mike's colleague, uh, Christian Hopper, we are discussing with them and customizing whatever they want according to their situation. And then, if they want it in Arabic, then we get it translated and probably deliver it in a year, year's time. So there are multiple people stationed in different locations. They all cannot come to a class, so they can do even more that. So we can do these arrangements. Now. Yeah. It is possible. So I, th I think the message to take away here is, um, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it there, I won't go, I won't, I'm not going to do any more, but I'm going to leave it there and just say, you know, the message to take home is that we're a very flexible and rewarding organisation. We have catered for local needs, so what we don't want to do is impose UK qualifications, UK regulated qualifications onto the Middle East, because why would you want to know about UK legislation? It's pointless, you're not going to use it because it's UK specific. So what we're trying to do is create international qualifications that are specific to your your uh, your country, your industry, that you know are going to help you progress in your learning um, and move your career forward. You know, and just empower you a little bit more. And this is why we translate it. We want to get that we want to get that message across. We want to give everybody that opportunity to engage with our with our products, with our learning. Um, like we said, we can create e-learning for any kind of sort of client, whatever they want. We have an e-learning team stationed back in the UK. If people need endorsed or accredited programs, again, in, in areas that we don't do, we don't focus on, that's something we can do as well. So that's what we do in the background. So when you get your certificate and you see Highfield, that's us, that's what we do. But like I said, all the training of our qualification is done by our training centres and they are, they are you know, a very, very integral cog in getting our kind of message across. But the thing to take away once more is, you know, we are huge, huge pioneers of safety and we want to just make sure that this idea is being promoted and, you know, the importance is constantly, constantly being highlighted.